So in, in my chapter, I talk about what I call the problem of selective miracles. If God can do miracles, why isn't God doing a whole lot more of them, right? <laughs> I mean, how many times have I prayed for miracles and they've not occurred? How many times have I been in churches when people came down to the altar, we put our hands on them, and they maybe were healed momentarily because we didn't quite have ways to check it, but a lot of times weren't healed at all. And yet occasionally, sometimes people are healed. Let's face it, sometimes it occurs. Not as often as I and a lot of other people would like. Is God arbitrarily picking people? I don't want to go with that kind of a God, right? Um, so I want to say that the reason that Miracles don't happen as often as we would like is that there's some sort of creaturely lack of cooperation or there's some sort of block there. So um, when we see the things in Scripture about not having enough faith or when we see uh, we 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 pray for things that there are agencies involved in our bodies or in the external world that aren't cooperating with God. God may want to do a miracle there, but God cannot because God doesn't have the kind of power to control those things unilaterally. So I still can have a miracle working God and also, I believe very importantly, account for why a lot of miracles don't occur when I think there are good reasons to wish that, or to think that God would want to have something good in that occasion.